Hey, what's going on, folks? Mike from Long Island Shaving. Welcome to the Shave Den. Appreciate you guys tuning in today for another shave of the day and an interesting one, to say the least, of a new razor that was sent to me from a buddy of mine, David. Uh, you guys may know him as the inspector. Uh, definitely follow his channel if you don't currently do so. I will include the link in my description. Uh, it puts out some great content. But uh, he had picked up this uh, razor, and it's currently a pass around. They're sending out to a couple different YouTubers. Uh, I know Anthony Esposito had done a review on it not too long ago, and it's called the Everyday Razor. Uh, it's a magnetized razor. It's made out of aerospace aluminum. Not sure if you guys have ever seen this before. This is the first time uh, I've seen this razor. I've never heard of it before, uh, but definitely an interesting concept to say the least. Um, the top cap is magnetized. So basic meaning that this top cap connects to the uh, bottom plate and it's very uh, held there with very strong magnets. So you don't have to worry about the top plate falling off while you're shaving. Um, there's one side is scalloped and the other side is smooth. So I'm not sure uh, if it offers a different shave in any way on either side, but you got two options there. Um, let's go ahead and load the blade. The recommendations of blade choices that they have recommended for this is using an Astra um, or a Treat or a 7 o'clock, Gillette uh, 7 o'clock. But I'm going to use my Wizomat Super Iridium blade. That's my blade of choice for any new razors that I try. So I'm going to show you guys how this loads. So if you look at the top plate, there's four pins on each of the corners. So when you lay the uh, blade there, the magnet, of course, for one, holds the blade in place and it's guided by those four pins so make sure you have a perfect blade alignment then you take the top cap and basically you guys will hear it that's it so the, now those strong magnets hold that in place actually it wasn't in place now it is and uh you definitely got an even uh, perfect blade alignment as you guys can see there so we will be shaving with this Everyday Razor. Um, I had pulled this up on their website. Um, it's at everydayshaving.com. Um, it's considered a mild razor. The blade exposure is considered 0 0.026 blade gap. Um, and that's on the mild side. Okay, so there is two sides. And then on the wild side, it's 0 0.006 blade exposure and point. 030 blade gap. So now which side is that? That's the is that the scallop side? It doesn't really say. All right. I'll I'll figure it out for myself. I'll try both sides and we'll see uh which side uh is a little bit more efficient uh than the other. So just to kind of have some fun. Obviously, this is not a, a soap set that I would normally uh shave with during a week for work, but uh, it's a lot of fun, and I'll be shaving with Cookie Monster from Hoffman Shaving. Um, I have the uh, soap and the uh, matching splash. Um, so uh, I haven't shaved with this in a while. I think I picked this up uh, not this past holiday, the holiday before. So uh, I had it for a while. I'll be whipping it up in the Hendrix Classics and Company Bowl. And I have uh, this brush from Sawdust Creations, which I thought was actually a perfect match uh, for today's shave soap uh, as Cookie Mons. I mean, you can't get any better than that. Um, very close. All right, so... That's what we'll be shaving with today, the Everyday Razor with Cookie Monster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip up a lather off camera and we'll get right into today's shave. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I have a really nice lather whipped up of uh, Cookie Monster. So let's get right into today's shave with the face and let's get right into it. I'm going to use the uh, Cube 2.0 to start with. I don't normally use the uh, pre-shaves often, but I uh, kind of cut myself a little bit there with a razor I did a review on. I was a little bit more aggressive than I thought it would be. So uh, might, might as well have it as slick as possible, right? Because normally with every most shave soaps, they're pretty good on their own. But it doesn't hurt to get a little bit extra help. It's 
the first cube I ever bought. I, I probably would pick up another one. I think I would get the one uh, that's not that doesn't have menthol. To be honest with you, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of products that have heavy menthol on them. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but not a big fan. I would think maybe in the summertime when it's really hot, maybe uh, refreshing, but in general, just not a not a fan of menthol products. All right, let's get right into today's shave. Let's try this razor out. So now I got mentholated uh, Cookie Monster. Yeah, this soap is a lot of fun. Smells exactly like uh, cookies. You know, Toll House cookies is probably the best way to explain it. Ah, really nice base. Definitely performs well. Yeah, kind of, uh, I've had this razor for the last few days. It's just been really busy. Been a little crazy this weekend with work. And so uh, I figured I'd get a casual shave in uh, this morning. Just trying to determine what soap to use. And then I figured, you know what? I haven't used uh, Cookie Monster in a while. So let's give it a run. It smells amazing. I mean, who doesn't like cookies, right? But again, I don't know if you want to smell like cookies going to work. But uh, over the weekend, it's, it's fine. So I figure, you know what? Let me get it in. All right. Here we go. All right. So uh, I did read up a little bit more. Um, again, the video online didn't have any audio for some reason. But it looked like it was pointing towards the scallop side as being uh, the one with the most exposure and blade gap. Uh, so I'm going to start with the uh, scallop side, and then I'll try the uh, smooth side on my neck to see if I notice any difference. So here we go. Find that angle. Interesting. Definitely on the mild side, but... Pretty efficient. I'm gonna stick with the scallop side right now. Actually pretty comfortable. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it to the other side. I'm gonna use the uh, the mild side. That was the wild side. Now we're going to use the mild side, which is the smooth, uh, smoother side. Doesn't it's not scalloped. Okay, I definitely noticed a difference. That's really mild. All right, so I'm going to flip it around. So I prefer. The wild side, of course. But maybe I'll use the mild side on my neck here where I messed up with a razor that I underestimated. All right, so I'm on the, uh, what side am I on? <laughs> the wild side. Let's go for it. And I'm going to flip it. Did I hit my goatee? Don't tell me I messed it up. Maybe not. Well, I actually, uh, I could tell you right now, I definitely prefer the wild side of the plate, which is the scallop side of this plate. I could feel the efficiency and it's very smooth.
Man, I've never heard of Everyday Razors. Everydayshaving.com. First time hearing about them. So I'm I actually didn't ask David how he found them. So I'm curious. Really nice first pass. Okay. Ready for pass number two. Not bad. What an amazing, again, this scent is just phenomenal. Let's work it in a little bit more. Why not? You know, I may just do, since this is considered a mild razor, maybe I'll just do a quick three-pass shave. So I'll do a crossed grain on the more aggressive side, the wild side. And guys, it's not extremely uh, aggressive in any way. It's, a, it's no matter, even on the uh, aggressive side, it's still fairly mild, but... The efficiency is actually pretty good on it. So it gets the job done. Very lightweight, because obviously being aerospace aluminum. I can understand, I can see, you know, it's a great name for it, Everyday Razor, because this is one that you can use every day. And if you want to tame it down for whatever reason, even though the aggressive side, like I pointed out, is not very aggressive, you could do that by just sw flipping it over, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, so definitely notice the difference between the two sides, no question. You don't even feel it on the other side. Okay. Let's get the third pass in and wrap this up. Plus, I want to use the soap more. So you got to do three passes, right? Especially if it's enjoyable and you like it. So now let's do a pass against the grain. I'm sticking with the uh, aggressive side, the scallop side. Definitely one that you could be on autopilot with. The soap is performing really nice. I think I got the residual from the uh, cube. Yeah, thank you, David, for sending this out. Appreciate it. Always open to trying new razors. Yeah, one uh, razor I want to try out, um, and I'm going to pick up as soon as it's available, is the uh, Parker uh, Solo Edge. The new one that was released sold out very quickly. I want to definitely give that a run next. Seems very uh, interesting and uh, seems like it's gotten some uh, really great reviews. So, but 
So far, I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing from this everyday razor. You guys can see it and you can hear it. It's definitely doing the job. All right, third pass done. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to clean up real quick uh, and just kind of finish up a little bit, and I'll be right back, and we'll get into uh, my final thoughts on the razor and the splash. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Yeah, great shave. Honestly, I'm actually pleasantly impressed. Um, I didn't know what to expect from this razor um, because, for one, the mention of being mild, um, but it's got the two different options. So you got the more... Extreme side, which is considered the wild side. And then you have the mild side, which again, the mild side, there's no there's no blade exposure and the blade gap is 0 0.026. The wild side, the blade exposure is 0 0.006, the exposure and the blade gap is 0 0.030 blade gap. Uh, I prefer the scallop side, which is the more aggressive side. Uh, for this shave, uh, but it was a very comfortable shave It got the job done. I didn't know what to think about the magnets to be honest with you early on But when I noticed that the magnets were very strong uh, I felt more comfortable shaving with it because um, at first I'm like wow magnetized top cap and bottom plate I didn't know what to think of that, right? I think we all would be somewhat cautious of that, but as you guys can see here I mean these magnets are very strong uh, and this is not going over where anywhere um the tabs are covered on the sides it's again lightweight aluminum it's made in the usa um from what i read yep uh cnc machined in the usa from lightweight aerospace aluminum with precision ground alignment in the pins so those pins uh definitely line things up as you guys see there but uh yeah it did a great job and um, I could definitely uh, recommend it. I mean, if you're looking for a nice, lightweight, aluminum, mild um, razor that can still get the job done and be uh, pr still pretty efficient, um, this everyday razor is uh, pretty good. And uh, I enjoyed it. So, John, this will be cleaned up, sanitized, and it'll be out to you. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So, Thank you, David, for share, sharing this razor with the channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, great shave with uh, Cookie Monster from Hoffman's, of course. So I'm uh, going to finish off the shave with the aftershave splash. But, uh, yeah, David, thanks again for sending it my way. And uh, it was definitely uh, a fun one for sure. Let's get the splash. Love the scent. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want Toll House cookies as a cologne, right? Who would think? Robert from Hoffman thought about it. I don't think anyone has ever considered that doing that as a shave soap before. So it was definitely new and uh, different. It's got that like that burnt cookie uh, scent, which I kind of really do like. Not burnt, but, you know, well done scent. All right, very good. Thank you guys for joining me for another review today. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And again, if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider doing so. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. So this way you'll be notified for any new videos that come up. You guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.